Hey guys, I want to talk to you about overcoming anxiety for this Christmas season. Now, this particular emotion is a little bit near and dear to my heart because it is something that I have struggled with off and on throughout my lifetime. And so I want you to know that overcoming anxiety does not mean that you're never going to feel some anxiety or you're never going to sense or face any anxiety. It means that you've learned how to recognize anxiety. You can define the source of your anxiety and you can choose to walk in victory and settle in a place of peace despite anxiety. So this is what I want for you is I want you to be able to settle in a place of peace even though there's a lot of unknowns that come along with the Christmas season. So that brings me to the definition of anxiety, which is a sense of worry or unease because of an unknown thing. Now, isn't it true that when there are unknown things that are coming up, uh, that we have this loss of control. Um, so a lot of times we try and tackle anxiety by gaining a sense of control, um, which really is kind of um, a facade if we're honest with ourselves. So here are some of the things that will cause anxiety. Um, number one, insecurity. Now, refer back to uh, the insecurity that I talked about in the uh, other emotion of Christmas uh, YouTube video and, and learn a little bit about insecurities that are caused by social expectation because insecurity and anxiety are so closely knit together and they like to partner to tackle you and take you out for this Christmas. But let's talk about stress a little bit. Now, stress is when we have a lot of pressures and a lot of activities, things that have to be done. Um, and a lot of times that is the root of anxiety where we feel like there's too much to be done in too little of time. I'm too small. I can't get it all done. And therefore I have anxiety. But I touched a little bit on the third thing that causes anxiety. And that is a feeling or a sense that I cannot control things or I am legit just not in, in control. Now, here's the cool thing is that God specifically addresses anxiety. And I, th I think he addresses anxiety because he knows it's something in our humanness that we are going to struggle with, that in our flesh, that we have this need to be in control. We have this need to know. We have this need to be able to control our stress level, our, um, our activities. Uh, we don't wanna feel the insecurities or the pressures of the world. And so God gives us the antidote. In Philippians 4, 6, all the way through chapter eight, he says, being anxious for nothing, being anxious for nothing, but in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving of heart, grant your requests before the Lord and the peace of God that transcends your understanding will guard your heart and your mind until the day of Christ Jesus. Now, let me pause here and just talk about that verse. He's talking about something that transcends my ability to figure it out. Isn't it true that when we're trying to handle our anxiety that we just try to intellectually process? A lot of times when I'm feeling overwhelmed with stress, I think, well, I just need to get up earlier. I need, I need to make a better to-do list. Um, I need to go to bed later. I need to yell at my husband and engage him in all the activities that need to be done. But this verse is saying that there is a peace that is due me, that transcends my understanding, meaning I just simply can't figure it out. It's just something that has been given to me as a gift of God. Now, I know that sounds super easy, but how do we get there? Well, if we read on in the verse, it goes on to say, whatever is lovely, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is noble, to set your mind on such things. So now he's giving us this action item. So this is when we get to the tips of how to overcome anxiety. Number one, I'm going to dwell on the positive. I'm gonna think upon the positive, but I'm also gonna practice the positive. When it says with thanksgiving of heart, 
whatever is lovely, whatever is pure, to set your mind on these things. There's an invitation here for us to practice something. So it's one thing to say, well, I just need to be thankful or I need to be thinking about things that are good or I need to be thinking about the positive and it's another thing to actually do it. Listen, I tell a lot of times there is one thing that's keeping the information in your life from becoming reality in your life and it is your action. So tip number one, I want you to practice the positive. Practice meaning I'm going to write out things that are excellent. I'm going to practice Thanksgiving, meaning I'm going to write them out and then I'm going to talk about them. I'm actually going to engage in the act of Thanksgiving with God. Number two, I want you to learn how to focus on what you do know. Look, there are a lot of things that we don't know. I talked about the source of anxiety being the unknown. And if we focus on all the things we don't know, man, we're gonna be filled with a lot of anxiety. Let's be honest, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But there is one thing we do know, and that is no matter what tomorrow holds, God will be my God, and I will be in the palm of his hand, and I will be the eye and the object of his love. This is what I do know. So we can take a hold of those things that we don't know, cast them aside, and start focusing on we, what we do know. So these are your two tips on overcoming anxiety this Christmas season. One, practice, engage in positive and thankful conversation and thoughts. And number two, Focus on what you do know. I want you to walk in victory and in the fullness of your God design all the way through this Christmas season and overcome anxiety. Remember, enforcing purpose, it starts with you.